What does it mean to be consecrated in the truth? To be consecrated means, therefore, that we are set apart. When priests and religious are consecrated, we call them consecrated persons, means that they are set aside for the work of God, for the glory of God. When an item, a thing is consecrated, means to say it is set apart for worship, for devotion, for prayers. And so to be consecrated means to say we are called to remember that we are set apart to give glory to God. But it is also important to take note of the word. The word consecration also has this connotation of holiness or being made sacred. In fact, the word consecrate is a compound word of con, which means with, sacra means sacred. That means a person who is consecrated must also be holy. Holiness, therefore, is demanded of us all if we want to guide the people of God and those under our charge. Unfortunately, there are some of us we strive for holiness not for the greater glory of God and not even for our fellow men. It is to save our own skin, to make sure that we do not go to hell. When we try to be holy in an individualistic manner, it's about my salvation and myself, that is not holiness. The reason why we are consecrated, why we are made holy, is first and foremost for the glory of God, and secondly, for the sake of others. Not for ourselves. We can only save ourselves when we do it all for the glory of God and for others. Those who try to save themselves, the Lord said, will lose their life. But those who lose their life for others were saved his own life. To be holy is to be like God. So that when people see us, they see the glory of God in us. St. Paul reminds us, be on guard. Unfortunately, many of us, we don't take his advice seriously. Many of us are so absorbed in doing the work for God, that we do not have time to be in union with Him, to spend time with Him. And this is the greatest temptation, to think that we can do God's work without having first listened to Him. To be consecrated in the truth means to say that we are grounded in the Word of God, grounded in Scriptures, that we are familiar with the Word of God, that we will consult the Word of God in everything that we do, and that every day we will spend time reflecting on the Word of God, making the Word of God our own, set time apart for God. That is absolutely critical. It is not enough to be consecrated in the truth. We must also be in union with the church. Because the church is the pillar, the living God. The church is the pillar and the bulwark of truth. If we want to remain united with Jesus, to be in the truth, then we must also be in union with the church. We are servants of God. We do not proclaim our own message, our own personal opinions. We can only proclaim what the Lord has spoken to us through His church. That is why we want to safeguard the church, safeguard those under our care. Every Catholic must be well grounded in the teaching of the church, in the doctrines of the church, not some worldly opinions some opinions of some theologians. We must be careful of such people because they will divide 
they will destroy the church. All of us have great responsibility to those under our care that we lead them in the way of truth, in the way of love.